All right, so today was a nice pleasant day and I've been wanting desperately to make potato soup in my fusion using the sun. So I chopped up some carrots and potatoes and what I'm gonna do is put enough water in it to cover it, put it in the sun and let it sit for an hour. So I will go ahead and go set it up and we'll take a picture, we'll take a quick video of that. I covered up, I put enough water in there to cover up. I'm hoping that they'll water down too and add a little bit of extra uh, liquid to that. So what we'll do now is I am going to put it in here and I'm going to look at it for probably about 45 minutes. And then I'm going to check it at about 45 minutes, see how that's looking. And once we get there, um, we'll start adding the seasonings and start putting it all together. Here we are an hour later. Let's see what we're we're uh, working with here. Um, these actually feel still pretty solid. Um, definitely super carroty smelling. These are not done yet. Um, the sun's not exactly as uh, uncovered. It is very overcast today, so. I'm going to try for another, ew, ew. oh you do, I, I'm going to try for a few more minutes but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some garlic powder to go with it because I think they're past that point where it's going to absorb it and take the flavor away. So I'll go for another 20 minutes and throw it back in there and we'll come back to it. Alright here we go, it's been pretty fairly long, I actually threw some uh, garlic salt in here. Um, I figured to kill two birds with one stone. It has a little bit of parsley in there as well, so it had a nice little extra flavor. Let's see how these carrots go. They're hot. And a little crunchy. Good flavor. Not ready yet, so what I'm going to do set the timer for another half hour and then we'll check out check it out from there all right we're at another half an hour and this looks a lot more cooked than it was and absolutely smells fantastic oh yeah yep we're ready so I'm gonna go grab the cream real quick and we'll move on Alright, here we go. I'm gonna pull that out real quick. And we're gonna try to do this really delicately. Um, I use evaporated milk, not to be confused with condensed, but just evaporated milk. And I'm gonna pour it in here. This was in the refrigerator because we go through a lot of evaporated milk um, throughout the throughout the week or so. So, I don't want to shock my tube too much. So we're going to add it slowly, let it get warm. Here we go. Get that really rich, milky color to it. It's kind of stirring up pretty nicely. So. This is at about half the can or so. And now that I'm looking at it and looking at the color of it, I think this is actually pretty good, but I'm not not 100% certain because I gotta pull the whole thing through and stir as we go. And if you can see back there, move that. That looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna let that set for about five minutes or so. It is nice and hot, so it's not gonna shock the tube at all. So I'll let that set for about five minutes and I'm go ahead and pull it out and dish it up. All right, here we go. And it looks like it's 
ready. It smells really, really good. I like pasta when I make potato soup because I'm a carboholic that way. However, you can do whatever you'd like. Some people like cheese, some people like ba bacon sprinkles. It's really whatever it, it comes down. There's a bug right there. Is there a bug right there? It's because we're outside, silly. So here we go. Here's a bug. That turned out fantastic. Would I do it again? 10 out of 10. So I put this around two an hour, two hours or two hours and 25 minutes or something like that. And it did turn out really well. I would do it again. This is definitely not a meal that you could be feed, feeding the whole family with, or at least the quantities I was putting, but it'd be good for two people. Or if you're like me and can eat that amount of food, I would definitely recommend it to try it. That being said, um, it turned out really well. I hope to see you guys next time, and please let me know if you'd like to see me cook something.